Hi all you little artists out there. Today I'm going to show you how to make these super adorable, really cool puffer fish paintings. So all you really need is a couple colors of paint, a piece of paper, and a fork actually. And we're going to use the fork to create this really cool spiky texture that gives these puffer fish a more realistic look. So you can create it on a plain piece of paper, you can make a background for your puffer fish first, uh, but no matter what you do, they come up pretty cool. So let's get started. Okay, so to start, you just need your piece of paper to make your puffer fish on. You can either just have a plain piece of paper. It could be like blue, like the water, or black or white, or whatever color really. Or you could have a piece of paper that you could create a little background on. So I just made this background by coloring some seaweed, some bubbles with crayons, and I painted it all with blue water base paint. Um, so you can either have kind of a background for your puffer fish or a plain piece of paper. The only other things you need are a plate to put your paint on and you just need some kind of water-based paint. So something that's watery, that's liquidy, not a hard paint. Uh, so I'm using washable like acrylic paint, uh, but tempera paint also works just fine for this. And you really want to have white and then some other kind of color and you can decide which color that is or i guess you can combine a couple colors but white's going to be for the belly of your puffer fish and the color is going to be for the top of your puffer puffer fish and then the last thing you will need is a fork to create your puffer fish body and i'm going to try one of these with a plastic fork and one of these with uh, metal fork to see which one makes cooler puffer fish. So to start, you're gonna start with the top half of your puffer fish, which is gonna be your color. So I think I'm gonna use this yellow one on this piece of paper. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fork and I'm gonna dip the back of it into my paint. And what you're gonna do is you can create a little rainbow with your fork. And you want your pointy little pointy parts of your fork to stick out. So I'm just gonna start on one side. I'm just gonna kind of roll my fork. It's gonna make some little spikes and I'm going to roll it again and again. And I'm gonna slowly turn my fork following kind of like a hill or a rainbow pattern. Now, once you've created your rainbow pattern with your fork and your color, you're just going to repeat, kind of filling it in. So you want the lines of the fork to be pointing out. So remember, this is the top half of your puffer fish, and you're gonna make its belly with white in a sec. I think it helps to make your lines overlap. It's okay if they crisscross a little bit. That makes it look more like a real puffer fish with real spikes. And as you press with your fork, I kind of roll my fork back and forth to get nice long lines from it. I'm not dragging my fork, I'm just printing with it. And I've also found so far that you can make two or three or even like four presses with your fork before you have to go back and get more paint. All right, now once you're done creating the top of your puffer fish, you're just gonna do the bottom the exact same way with your white. If you want, you can rinse off your fork. Honestly, I think it's okay if the white gets a little bit of your color mixed in with it. I just turn my paper upside down because it's easier for me to go this way. And you're gonna start the same way. You're gonna start with your little rainbow shape. But this time with white. along the edge where the two colors meet, I let them kind of overlap a little bit because a puffer fish would really have spikes through there that are kind of both colors and they might even mix up a little bit. So you might even go back with one of your colors and add more and kind of let them blend together just a little bit along that edge where your colors meet. One last thing that I do sometimes just to add a little bit more detail is sometimes I will even mix these two 
to make a color that's in the middle of them. And I won't use this a whole bunch, but I'll just use it to make a couple more little detail presses. So on the top, you get those two different shades of that yellowy orange. I don't want to do too much of the slider one, because I want the dark one to show through. And sometimes I'll even do a couple of these in a few spots on the bottom too, just to give our puffer fish a little bit more of that cool, spiky texture. Next, I'm gonna try the exact same thing on a black piece of paper. I'm just gonna do it with metal fork and see if I see any difference. The next step is to add your fins to your puffer fish. So you can either add them out to the side right there, or if you're like me and you went a little crazy with your puffer fish and your puffer fish goes to the sides of your paper, you can also add them kind of on its little white belly towards the bottom. So I just make its fins the color uh, that I use for the top of it. If you're making the fins off to the side, like I'm going to, it's okay to do it while your puffer fish is still kind of wet. But if you're going to add the fins on your puffer fish, like on the belly, like what I'll show you here, it's better to give it a little bit of time to dry. So since I have room to add this one's fins, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a little paintbrush and paint them off to the side. And all I do for its fins is kind of right where the two colors meet, I paint a little triangle. So the smallest part of the triangle connects to the fish. And then I'll make some little lines coming off the end of the triangle to kind of make it look like fins. And I'll even sometimes take some of the white and just add a few little streaks into the fin to kind of give it that same poopy, textury, puffer fish effect. This one I need to wait a little bit till it's dry before I can give it its fins. All right, now that these are mostly dry, this one's pretty dry, I can go ahead and paint the fins actually on the body. So, um, so just like these fins, I'm just gonna give it triangle and the triangles point points into the body and then it comes off the body and I like to make the ends kind of frayed and I'm also going to take some white and do a few little white streaks in there just to give it a little bit more texture so you can either have the fins kind of on the body or you can have the fins coming out off the sides of the body then you're going to want to give your cute little puffer fish some eyes so you can do that two different ways you can either use the white paint you already have to paint on some eyes and even go back with some black and give them some little dots or another color or you can just use a piece of white scrap paper, which I like to do. Uh, so I just fold it in half. And remember, if you just draw one circle, but you cut through both layers at the same time, you're gonna get two. And then, I like to just use like a black Sharpie or a marker to give them some little dots. You can do those in the middle. I do them off to the side. You guys remember which direction you turn these changes, which direction your fish is looking. And then you wanna make sure that your paint is dry before you stick your eyeballs on 
and you can use any kind of glue. For this guy, I think I'm gonna just use some of the white paint to give him some white eyeballs. That means I'm gonna need to let that dry a little bit before I give them those dots. And of course, it's fun to give your puffer fish a little puffer mouth right there. You can either just draw it with a Sharpie or that's something else that you can cut out with paper or draw with oil pastel. Uh, I have some kids who get really creative and will give their puffer fish like some great big lips or um, a big wide open mouth. So you could even give it just a black circle mouth works really great. You can get very creative and do like eyebrows or eyelashes or whatever details you really want for your puffer fish. That's it. The really cool thing about this project is as long as you have a fork and a couple of colors of paint and a piece of paper, you can make it look really cool whether you decide to create your background or use a plain piece of paper, whether you decide to collage on the face with scrap paper or paint it on with the same paint you use to make your puffer fish. They look really, really cool. You can change this and adapt this however you want. You could even use this technique to make a puffer fish as part of a bigger work of art. But no matter what, I think they're pretty adorable. So I hope you had fun creating them today because I know I did. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.